I met the Household Cavalry because they actually ride down our street every morning, so it's sort of my alarm call, which is a really nice way to wake up. And there's something amazing about those huge horses and those amazing men who are so much and keep us safe. I remember saying, would you like a piece of toast? And I went, would like a bacon sandwich? And I said, do you want a cup of tea? And they said, no, would like a glass of port, please? <laughs> so we actually now do a breakfast in December every year, and we serve them um, bacon sandwiches and trays of port, and it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's quite a traditional thing. Hello, my name is Anya Hindmunch. My dream bag has to have a few elements. I think it has to work. There's nothing more annoying than if it doesn't work, so that's key. I like something that I can mess up, something I can kind of add something to, and I like something that makes me smile, so I think those are really important elements, probably. I, I always say I have my best ideas when I sleep, so I think that, you know, I'm sort of multitasking even when I'm sleeping, frankly. <laughs> My strangest place that I have found inspiration is probably in a service station. I did a whole collection based around a service station on the motorway. I think the most outlandish item I've ever designed was probably a wallet, a made-to-measure wallet that I made for Adrian Gill. He pointed to the hole in the skin and said, what's that? And I said, well, actually, that's the crocodile's bottom. And I embossed it with, uh, with love and admiration to London's favourite arsehole. <laughs> and he loved it. Which of my bags best describes me? Probably the crisp packet. It sort of says it all. It's beautifully made and it's about food. I, I did make a bag for Grayson Perry um, in the shape of a dog poo. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I can be fairly stubborn. I can be quite greedy. I can be a bit odd at times. I quite like doing odd things with fashion. But I would like to think that I'm quite kind. If I didn't do what I do, um, actually what I really wanted to do when I was growing up was to be an opera singer. My party trick is that I can play the spoons really badly. The most treasured bag in my wardrobe is one of my grandmother's bags. Um, and what was nice is inside it I found a little um, locket and it said, I love you more than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. Nice.